an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. Hey, we serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. Lift your praise to the Lord. Lift your praise to the Lord.
I want to see your dance on display. I said, my God who is mighty. Yo, yo, yo. Jenny's God is a good God. Oh. And I will call you my miracle. miracle I said, my God who is popular. Hallelujah. I said, my God who is mighty. Yo, yo, yo. This God is a good God. Oh. And I will call him my miracle. Oh. Miracle hey. Be my 
Protector, 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 protector. Restore, restore, lift up your voice.
lift your voice. Say how we love your name. How we love your name. Yes, Lord Jesus, Jesus you're, you're the beautiful one. one. We love your name. Yes, Lord, the name above every other name. How we we love, love your name. Jesus, you're the beautiful one. How we love, we love, we love. Your name. How we praise your name. How we praise your name. Jesus, yes, Lord. you're the beautiful one. We praise oh my God. Your name. Yes. Say how we praise your name. How we praise your name. Jesus, you're the beautiful one. How we praise your Yes, Lord. Name. Open up your mouth and say, say we praise you. 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 We love 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 you. Magnify you. Magnify you. Magnify you. Magnify you. Magnify you. Magnify you. Magnify, magnify, we raise you, we raise you, we raise you, we raise you, say higher, 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 lift your hands tonight, say higher, higher, say higher, higher, say higher, 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 say how we love your name. Lift your voice, and when you stand, we have no choice. Say, when you move, when you move, yes, God, creation. Because the Lord wants to hear you tonight. When you stand, we have no choice but to bow. We are singing with the angels. Oh, my God. When you move, say, when you move, creation will stand in awe. When you stand, when you stand, we have no choice. We are singing with the angels. Hallelujah. Jesus, you won't worry. Lift your voice. I'm a mama, I'm a Lift your voice. Yes, Lord. Pray the way she was done. Lift your voice. Amen. Tonight. 
Worship the Father. And when you stand, when you stand, we have no choice but to bow. Because we are singing with the angel. Jesus, you. Can we tear this place up with praise tonight? Yes, yes, yes. Ama, 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 si, ama, si, yo. Ama, 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 si, ama, si. Praise the way to his eye, yo. Que la brande, que la voz o te. Hey! Ama, ama, si, ama, si, yo. Ama, 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 si, ama, si, yo. Praise the way to his eye, yo.
Somebody just lift your tongues tonight and bless his name. Let your hearts be lifted. Let your hands be lifted in surrender and gratitude unto the Father tonight. Nobody is like you, Lord. The King who reigns forever, only you, Lord. Our God. You were El Shaddai. El Shaddai. You are God. You were El Shaddai. El Shaddai. You are God. The King who reigns forever. The King who reigns forever, only you are God. The King who reigns forever. Lift your voice. Something more than lift your voice to the Lord. Something more than go. I have got, got something more than go. If all I have is Jesus, all I have is Jesus. I've got, got something more than And I will tell it to the world. To the world. Jesus. Jesus hey, say something more than go. Oh, 
boy about the founder of Redeem and what happened to him when he was still alive. He was at home, you know, with his wife and usually his wife would come to him and say he had, I mean, they, she was having issues with, you know, meeting up with their bills about cooking and all that, their feeding and all that. And, the, and he prayed and the Holy Spirit told him to tell her the Holy Spirit told Baba Father me to tell his wife, every time you want to cook, cook with what you have, no matter how little. Cook with what you have, no matter how little. But when you are dishing the food, don't look into the pot. Because aunt... And she would, you know, she followed the instruction and she would be dishing. Maybe the pot is here. The other dish is here. And she's dishing. She's looking into the dish. She's not looking into the pot. The pot, the food in the pot never finishes. The food in the pot. If one million people came, she probably prepared for two people. I'm waiting for that shout. You have no idea the kind of God you're serving. If you did, I'll tell you. 
Don't look into the pot. As long as you don't look into the pot, continue to dish. If 20 people come to the house. And Baba himself told Baba Deboe and said, it happened for many days, many months, that he will give his wife money for two people to feed. And thousands and probably hundreds of people, but a lot of people will come. And that pot never ran dry. Yeah. There is power in the name of Jesus. And there is power in giving that God praise. Stop looking at what is in front of you. Stop thinking God is all about this room. God is bigger than this room. He can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all. There are people right now, God has already sorted your case. But you are not looking at God, you are looking at the issues. You are not looking at God, you are looking at the situation, you are looking at the problem. Hey, my problem. Hey, what happened to me last year? Hey, what is going to happen to me in August? Hey, God says if you keep looking there, you can't see the supernatural. But I prophesy to you tonight. As you look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith, miracles will roll in in the name of Jesus. So for months, she would not look into the dish, into the pot. She will only look at what. Don't look into the pot. I didn't hear it from someone. I heard it from Baba himself. And it was a man that the miracle happened to that told him. God is still in the business of doing wonders. Say, Lord, I receive the unusual, the miraculous. I look beyond what I can see right now. And I make up my mind to praise you anyhow. I make up my mind to look away from everything that distracts. Look away from everything that distracts. I look away from everything that distracts. And I look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Lift your hands and bless him tonight. He's faithful. Get yourself ready for the service. Hallelujah. Good evening, church. Please, if you have a praise report, kindly step out of the foyer onto the prayer room. As officials, are we? Hallelujah, church. Come on, are we ready to make our praise loud? Is somebody grateful? Is somebody thankful? Yes, sir. Yeah.
as we express our gratitude to God on this empowerment day of gratitude. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for health and family. Thank you for peace and exceeding joy. Thank you for the first half of the year 2021. We indeed saw your faithfulness and the great and mighty things you did in our midst. Thank you for our global senior pastors, the Reverend Biodo Fatuibo and Pastor Modeli Fatuibo. We thank you for backing them up. Thank you for the many souls you brought into Koza. Thank you for encouraging them and establishing them. Thank you, Lord, for uprooting the roots of delays in our lives and for the great doors you flung open for us. Thank you for giving us the Guarimpa and Maraba church lands. With a heart of gratitude and lips filled with praise, we have returned to say thank you for you, Lord, are the doer of every good thing that has happened for us. Thank you, Lord, for doing for us better than you did in the beginning. We give you post data praise as we step into the last half of the year because we know that you, the breaker, 
has gone ahead of us. Thank you for shattering barriers, leveling mountains, filling valleys, and making crooked paths straight for us. Thank you, Lord, because we know that in the remaining days of this year, the entire Koso Global and all who are genuinely connected to us will indeed experience heaven on earth. We decree and declare that your praise, O oh God, will forever remain in our mouths. Glory to God forever! Psalms 107, verse 15 and 20. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Church, please raise a hand and declare with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the diverse kinds of healings that we experienced all through the 7DG. Thank you for sending your word with precision and accuracy. Thank you for replacing diseased and dead organs with brand new ones. Thank you for restoration, revitalization, and rejuvenation as we return to give you glory today. Let there be wholeness in the name of Jesus. Turn that to power. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the diverse kinds of healings that we experience all through the seven DG. Thank you for sending your word with precision and accuracy. Thank you for sending your word with precision and accuracy. Thank you for replacing diseased and dead organs with brand new ones. Oh Lord, we thank you for restoration. We thank you for rejuvenation. We thank you for revitalization. Lord, we return to give you glory today. Let there be wholeness. Let there be wholeness. Thank you, Lord, for restoration. Thank you for revitalization. Thank you for rejuvenation. As we return, oh God, to give you today, glory today, we decree and declare wholeness. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. Joshua 1 21 verse 45 not a single one of all the good promises the Lord had given to the family of Koza was left unfulfilled everything he had spoken came true boldly raise up your right hand and declare and say father in the name of Jesus we thank you for the death and breath of your loving kindness to the family of Koza. Not a single participant of the seven days of glory escapes your mercy and grace. The healings, prophecies, testimonies, and revelations show your commitment to our rising and shining. Our transformation is permanent in Jesus' name. Enforce those words. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the depth and breadth of your loving kindness to the family of Koza. We decree that not a single participant of the seven days of glory escapes your mercy and grace. The healings, the prophecies, the testimonies and revelations show your commitment to our rising and shining in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare every participant transformation in their life is permanent in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare a permanent transformation in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for the healings. We thank you for the prophecies. We thank you for the testimonies. We thank you for revelations of your commitment to every participant.
In Jesus' name. Acts 2 verse 47 says, Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. Church confidently raise up a right hand and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the multitude of new converts drafted into your kingdom through during this 7 DG in all Koza installations through Koza TV and the Koza app. Thank you for the privilege to participate in their transformation. You have drawn your sons and daughters into the light never to return to the kingdom of darkness. Father, we are truly grateful. Raise up your voices of thanksgiving. Let gratitude flow from your heart this evening unto God. Say, Father, we are thank you for we are grateful for the multitude of new converts drafted into the kingdom during the seven DG. We are grateful, Lord, because indeed we receive them with thanksgiving and we say we thank you for the privilege to participate in their transformation. Lord, we say you have drawn your sons and daughters into the light, never to return to the kingdom of darkness. For these, Lord, we thank you. For these, we give you praise. For these, we worship you. We thank you for every soul that you have snatched from the kingdom of darkness into light through the seven DG. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. We have returned with a heart of thanksgiving to say that, Lord, you are the doer of all these things. And we are grateful to you. What a mighty God you are. What a great God you are. We thank you, Lord. Church, raise up your hands and give thanks to God because prayer is not complete without thanksgiving. Give God praises. Give him worship. Not the stranger to us in the house to take us to the next level in our praise. Cause I do welcome with you, Asha Africa. <laughs> Hallelujah! Thank you, my, my husband, my father, my beautiful father, you, my mommy, Pastor Modeli, my wonderful father, Pastor Kolede Komaya. Thank you for this great privilege. I sing a new song of joy, new song of blessing, new song of gratitude. I sing a new song of joy, new song of blessing, new song of gratitude. I'm grateful to God. He has done so much for me. Oh, yeah, see me as a That's my praise, my praise, my praise is to God. I sing a new song of joy, new song of blessings, new song of gratitude. I'm grateful to God. He has done so much for me. Oh, yeah, see me as a that's my praise, my praise, my praise is to Share your holy wings, everybody. 
new song go I sing a new song go New song go New song go I'm grateful to go He has done so much Oh yeah, sing as I get down That's my friend Oh my God, I need to go. 
towards all our partners. Since this partnership initiative began, we've been able to reach out to the poor, help the widows, feed orphans, and touch the world through your love gifts. We've also had thousands of mind blowing testimonies from our global partners all across the world about the tremendous things that God's been doing in their lives since they became partners. Take Brother Ubang, for example. When the year began, he thought to pay up his partnership commitments for 13 months straight, expecting breakthroughs in his mining company. And soon after, he moved his operation from one state to another. And before long, he got introduced to a new line of business in agriculture, starting out with a 3.5 hectare farm and 2,500 stands of cocoa tree and 1,800 stands of banana and plantain suckers. He appreciates God for his direction and faithfulness and blessings of his family. And he says it surely pays to partner. Here's what other partners have got to say. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Omae Lisa Sere. I was trusting God for an upgrade in my office and I really desired it. But you know, a lot of people have said so many negative things. It has not been done before. You know, they won't give it to you and all of that. But I remember sowing my partnership and, and telling God, Lord, my case is different. Show up for me. And from nowhere, a woman rose up and insisted that this lady must be upgraded. My name is Zipporah Angu and I'm a Koza Global Partner. Based off of the fact that everything that works is connected, I observed that through my connection in partnership in COSA, things began to work supernaturally in the area of my career. The first thing that happened was the gift of men. A senior colleague at a United Nations organization just made up her mind that every resource and every qualification I needed to become everything that God has called me to be would come to me at no expense. And while I was still overwhelmed by the goodness of the Lord and enjoying those trainings, international doors began to fling open. Thousands just like her across the world have been joining daily to take this gospel to the ends of the earth. And you too can be part of the Great Commission to spread the glorious gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. All you have to do is log on to our website at www.partners.coza.org.ng to get started. We celebrate you. Hallelujah. Can we celebrate Jesus one more time this evening? Who's excited to be in day seven of the 7 DG 2021? Hallelujah. Praise God. You may have your seats in God's presence as we read through a few praise reports. I'm sure it will be a blessing to you tonight in Jesus' name. The first here is of Sister Abiodun Victoria. Now, she wants to give God praise. She said she, this actually happened today. Um, she said a while back, this was about a, a few weeks ago, she had put in um, an application somewhere, had certain interviews back to back, and they never got back to her. So this morning, as Pastor was speaking, and Pastor mentioned that God is a God of suddenly and made us make some declarations today. She said she was led to just get back in touch after wondering why things left off not completed with those people. And she did so and she got a favorable email response with a contract 
favorable amount that she wanted, what she had requested, and with her account details ready to sign off today. So God didn't even wait for 24 hours for it to happen. That's how the God of suddenly showed up for her. I decree and declare if anyone wants this, it's not for everyone, but if anyone wants to connect in faith, tonight is your night in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus for that. The next one is of, um, this is of Bola Wale Alao. Now she is uh, in the U.S. and her cousin actually uh, is connecting from the Elorin campus. So our cousin normally sends the links of all of the seven days of glory to connect. And she had this praise report that God did. Now, she had been believing God to step into her own case. She heard a testimony of someone whose debt had been canceled. And that was actually a prayer she had. So she said um, while she joined in the fast and she was believing God for direction for the rest of the year, she listened to messages from pastor back to back to back. And she said as she was doing so, she was listening to old messages as well. She heard pastor who always call us to just ask God for something. And she said that message she was playing back, listening to again. Pastor said, believe that God is going to do it within 24 hours. And the only thing she prayed about, she had this debt hanging of about $3,918. This is almost $4,000 debt. And it was hindering her from moving forward to other things. And that was the only prayer she prayed. She's like, Lord, please cancel this debt for me. And she said, God is awesome. Because that very same day, I got an email telling me that the debt balance was zero from nowhere. She cannot explain how, she cannot explain who, but the debt of about $4,000 was canceled to zero. I don't know who's here expecting God to show up for you suddenly. I decree God has shown up for you in this season in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus for that praise report. The next one is from Sister Jane Francis, a member from the Dubai campus. Let's celebrate her. Hallelujah. Now, she said she moved uh, to Dubai with her family in 2013 and completed a one-year diploma course. But she really wanted to go ahead with her bachelor's degree. Now, um, at the point in time, they had a family who helped them out and told her, okay, go ahead. Paid for the first year of school. Um, but after that, nothing happened. So she was believing God to continue school but didn't have the funding to do so and she said it was it broke her heart that she had, had to drop out because she didn't have enough to continue with the schooling and it was around that point Koza actually started in Dubai hallelujah let's celebrate Jesus for that so she said God sent Koza to Dubai and I became a member and I kept listening to the word so Pastor B and Pastor Mo kept delivering the undiluted word I started to understand God's word in a way I never experienced before and she joined the workforce and became an usher there now she said so the 12 DG 2019 came and one of the things she wrote down on her cards was that she wanted to return back to school and she wanted God to show up for her now she said pastor said that there is nothing written on that card that will not come to pass so she made up her mind that she was trusting God fully. Now, she said, Pastor then preached about the God of nevertheless. Who remembers that message? And he declared that the God of nevertheless will turn my life around. He will bring me from the back to the front. And I've wasted time, but nevertheless, I will come out smiling. Hallelujah. This is what she said. She said, two weeks later, a family visited and asked her what she was doing. And I said, no, you must go back to school. And she said, before you know, they sold portions of their land here in Nigeria just to get her money to go put her back in school. And she said, it was like a dream. I went back to school and continued exactly where I had stopped. God sent help us to her from that period back to back to back. And to God be the glory, she has come to give God thanks. Even as she came in for the 12 DG 2021, it was also part of a declaration that she will finish her school and she wants to give God praise after nine years of this issue dragging. She wants to give God praise. She has finished the last exam, the last course, and she's graduated with a bachelor's degree in nursing in Dubai. And she has come to give Jesus praise. I think we can celebrate Jesus better than that. Hallelujah. And there's just the last one I'm going to take. This is of Busai Omi Soremekun. He's from Abekuta, an e-church member in Abekuta. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate him. Hallelujah. Now, first, he wants to give God praise on behalf of his three-year-old son, Asha. He said, um, since they started school, there has been no week that the son hasn't been treated back-to-back -back for one thing or another. 
And so when coming for the seven days of glory, he spoke to God about this, that God would put an end to this. And so he said, one of the morning prayers, pastor told us that we should speak to our mountains. So he made up his mind that he was going to speak to this issue. So he placed his hand on his son and commanded everything that is not of God to vanish from the boy's body. He said they didn't notice until they just noticed all of a sudden recently the boy had not had any illnesses at all. And it was even so serious that the boy went back to school. As other parents were getting angry about conjunctivitis that went around in the school, the son was exempted. Nothing came near him. Nothing touched him. So he wants to give God praise for that. I think we can celebrate Jesus better than that. The second testimony he has, which is the last one he has, he said since May 2020 when he joined Koza, he's been looking for a way to sow into pastors, to our, to our pastors. And he said they had been a blessing to our generation and had to find a way. He said he couldn't. And so he spotted a banner, tag 12DG in Abeokuta, with pastor's picture on it. And he said, I quickly pulled over and asked a man by the building, is there a Koza in Abeokuta? He said, no, that it is GLC. That Pastor Jordan will be in Abeokuta for the last three days of the 12 GLC's 12 days of glory. He said, immediately I remember a sister of mine who mentioned that she attends GLC. This is Glorious Liberty Church for those of us who don't know. Now I called and begged her to please take me to Pastor Richard, who is the pastor, the senior pastor there. Now when I met him, he welcomed me warmly into his office. I noticed he was a very busy man. I asked him, is there anything I can do since pastor is coming? And so Pastor Richard um, uh, indulge him and, and help him out and told him everything and he said so they have a family project they've been doing and they had a lot of savings for this family project but they told themselves that this is an opportunity so he agreed with his wife they cleared out because Baba was coming and they did it excitedly hallelujah let's celebrate Jesus for that now this is what happened when pastor was in Abilkota he said pastor saw him pastor laid his hands upon him and pastor said go and do valiantly he shouted amen deeply from that day he said from that day our business blew and we started receiving alarms upon alarms upon alarms so for those who are new in Koza, there are alarms and there are alarms alarms buzz your phone alarms almost break your phone and he said daily and weekly clients started calling us from all over the globe now himself and his wife, they are medical doctors, but God led them to start this business on this side. And since they started this business, it has gone to the point now that they travel wherever they want in the world on business class, non-stop. God has exploded them. I decree and declare by reason of your contact here in Koza today, as pastor shares the word today, your life is going to move to another level in the name of Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus for this praise report. Jump up on your feet and celebrate Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now I have the very rare privilege on behalf of our senior pastors to bring up the next minister who's going to be a blessing to us tonight. He's an anointed and seasoned minister of the gospel, a music producer, a recording gospel artist, songwriter, uh, bass guitarist, and also the founder and CEO of Awesome Studios which is a Lagos-based recording, editing, and sound design outfit. He is famously known as Fat Strings, with a PH. He has produced soundtracks and movie scores and has worked on an international animation movie with some TV productions. His collaboration with gospel vocal powerhouse Shagun Obey has produced popular soundtracks such as Unquestionable and several other tracks. He is currently involved in songwriting arrangements and collaborations with a number of go celebrated gospel artists. And his latest single, Obatonja for me, meaning the king who fights for me, is a testament of his special gifts. Koza, with a loud ovation, received for the first time in Koza Global, Minister Gwenga Akinfenwa, aka Fast Strings. Come on, let's celebrate him. Songwriter, recording gospel artist with a sensational song, Obatun Jafumi, a testament to his many talents and special gifts. Benga Akinfenwa is the founder and CEO of Awesome Studios, a Lagos based recording, editing, and sound design outfit. He has worked with many top gospel artists like Sheikh Mube, Mike Abdul, and many others. 
for the very first time in the Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, Kozer, Let's Make Welcome, the song Mistral, Minister, Benga Akimfenwa, Wheeler, and Kosa, make you pick for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The I am that I am, the one who fights your battles. Sir, I am so honored to be here. I watch almost every day. And one thing I know about Koza, you genuinely love God. I, I see it on my phone. When, when I see it, sometimes I'm walking all night and I see that it just pops out. I, I go on my knee, just like I'm going to go on my knee right now. And how many know, how many love God in this place tonight? This first couple of songs are not for Jesus side cheeks, they are for Jesus lovers. The people who love God without expecting anything in return, you are just in love with Him. Say, I love you, Lord, for your mercies never fail me. All my days I've been held in your hands. today as I when I was called last week I knelt down my city room and I said God what, what are we gonna do and it said second Corinthians 2017 look it up look it up second second Chronicles 20 verse 17 and it says you will not have to fight this battle ah, let me try this I say you will not have to fight this battle cause that you have explained yourself enough no more explanation 
Because God will fight your battle. God will fight your battle. Let me teach you a song real quick. We're going to celebrate your victory. Go to sea. The song says, God has given us victory. Given us victory. God has given us victory over the enemy. The simple say, God has given us victory. Given us victory. Given us victory. God has given us victory over the enemy. Over the enemy. And then when I say, Ogu o show bo bo atepa. You already know atepa means match them forever, match them completely. How many came with their with their boots to match on the on the top of your enemy? Then we will we will spell your victory. When I say give me V, you go V. Give me I. Can you spell? I know you can spell. You're two people. Give me V. Give me I. Give me C. Give me T. Give me O. Give me R, give me Y, victory. That's your part right there. I love this part already. Let's go. Woof. Yeah. We're celebrating on the seventh day, victory. Somebody shout victory! Victory! Turn it up, turn it up on the, on the floor. God has given us victory. Given us victory, God has given us victory over the enemy. You say, God has given us victory. Given us, given us victory. God has, God has given us victory over the enemy. One more time, say, God has, God has given us victory. Turn it up on the floor, money Hey, God has given us victory over the enemy. Over the enemy. Raise your leg. You say, the power of the enemy. All the women say, Every power, every power of the enemy. We're gonna spell victory now. Are you ready? Give me V. Give me I. Give me C. Give me T. Give me O. Give me R. Give me Y. Over here, come on. Give me V. Give me I. Give me C. You know the song now, so you're gonna say, God has given us, come on. God has given us victory. Given us? Given us victory. God has. God has given us victory. All the, all the sisters, all the women say, God has given us victory. All the women, come on. Given us victory. Yeah. Y'all sound so good. Come on. All the brothers say, God. God has given us Oh, boy. 
Jehovah alone, Jah, for you put in your name. If God has ever fought your battle and given you faith, I see all those testimonies, and that is God fighting their battle. So when I say Jehovah alone, Jah, for you slot in your name, are you ready? When I say Jehovah alone, Jah, for everybody, you will shout Koza. I know God has fought for this house. So when I say Jehovah alone, Jah, for Koza, are you ready? I need to blast it to the end of the earth. Are you ready? Hey, Jehovah alone, Jah, for Your battles are over. Your battles are over. I am the one. He said, Give me way. Let me fight. Stop fighting yourself. He died over Oh, go sit down. Oh, Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Hey. Who can battle with your God? Who can battle with your God? Who can battle with your God? Hey. I say Somebody shout, I have the victory. Are you ready to dance? Are you ready to dance? All right, we're gonna dance a victory dance. How many young people are here? I see a lot of young people. How, where are the young people? Let me give you a revelation. Even if you're 85, young is not that you are, your age is small. Oh. Young means you are not dying anytime soon. Yes, sir. Yes, Listen, sir. a 20 year old man who will die, God forbid, when he's 21, he's an old man. He just doesn't know it. But a 70 year old man who God will keep alive to 100 is a young man. How many young people are in the house this night? Now grab, grab a praise neighbor. We're taking it off. Tell him, say, come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my sorrow now. Say, I got my poor hallelujah. Say, I got my poor Oh my 
here. Wait, put it like this. Listen, I've not seen anybody do like this. Because we're not going back. So this way. Anywhere you turn to is forward. Carry me there, go. Jehovah, carry me there, go. To hell. in Abuja on or on a on a boat cruise in Dubai. All around me, he wanna make me. All around me, he wanna make me. That the song God gave me several years ago. Jesu mi di mi mo ma jengosa. Everybody say Jesu mi di mi mo. It means God, Jesus, hold my hand. Let me not faint on the way. Say Jesu mi di mi mo. Let's lock hands together. Let's lock hands together. Oh Jesu. Keep singing it, keep singing it. He's gonna hold your hand. Oh, yes, to me. Sunday, 11th of July, by 9 a.m. across all Cosa Global campuses and on all Cosa Global online platforms. Our Tuesday services hold by 6 p.m. in this auditorium and on all Cosa Global online platforms. Our Wednesday services hold by 6 p.m. on the Cosa Eloring, Lagos, and Port Harcourt campuses, respectively. To share your praise reports, please meet an official at the PRE desk in the foyer or send an email to praisereports at cosaglobal.org or via the COSA app. There's a new checkbook format. Kindly get yours from your bank. Please write your phone number behind your check. For uncashed checks, kindly stop by the PRU desk. To purchase the 7DG audio pack, kindly stop by the Word Factory stand. Is today your first time in COSA? We are so excited you came. Kindly stop by the PCU desk outside of the auditorium to register your presence. 
Cosa Lugbe Campus holds its inaugural service on the 1st of August 2021. If you reside in Lugbe and environs and are yet to register your contact details, kindly stop by the PRE desk to do so accordingly. Follow Pastor Bjordan on Instagram and Facebook at Bjordan Fatahimbo. We celebrate you. Hello everyone, my name is Solomon Adesoji and here's my lovely wife, Umi Solomon. Uh, I'm one of the privileged Koza worker. Uh, we have come back to say a big thank you to God uh, that has made all things beautiful at his own time. So we got married on the 5th of December 2015 and um, we had everything planned out. Like he wanted to have kids immediately after our wedding. So. The whole of 2016, we kept on trying, nothing happened. And then by 2017, we decided to see a specialist to talk to about her situation. So um, they ran tests on both myself and my husband and we were given some drugs to take for about three months. After we did, we kept trying again and then nothing happened. So the whole of 2017 went by again without me being pregnant. At that point, I, I, I had to level up uh, our prayer life. We started sowing seeds, we had uh, doing some extra things, uh, believing that God will make uh, the miracle happen for us. Uh, most times when Baba is praying for Tonight expectant mothers, uh, down me while on duty, in uh, the crying, name of Jesus. Um, praying to God that, that, that I shouldn't be left out of this blessing. Uh, God, uh, at that point, uh, there was nothing I could do but just to trust God. Uh, we, we both had to level up, uh, started doing uh, some dangerous prayer. Um, so many scriptures that Mommy D gave out during yeah, most of the times when she's praying. They will still produce fruits. I prophesy to you that from this moment, begin to produce unusual fruits. God is in the business of raising and using dead situations. He made sure that Abraham was almost a hundred years old when there was no, it was not possible again, humanly speaking. But it could be impossible for man, but with God, all things are possible. I don't know how long you've been there, but God says, get ready. This is your season. Be fruitful. I speak to the womb of your destiny. Be fruitful. Kept those scriptures out and started declaring them. Uh, as of 2018, nothing happened. By 2019, the beginning of 2019, uh, we are still believing God and trusting God. So, like my husband said, for every Thanksgiving and baby dedication service, I was always coming out rejoicing with um, um, parents. Those, and those, those rejoicing, those you rejoicing. Know, like trusting God that mine is going to happen too. And for every testimony that was being shared in church, you know, it was like um, um, like a, an upliftment in my spirit. Like every testimony I heard about someone who has waited for a while and then God made it happen, it lifts my spirit. And then I believe that God was going to do it for us at this time. So by 2019, it was our fourth wedding anniversary. So I remember we saw Mommy D and um, we told her that we are still waiting and she said a simple prayer like we should just go and relax and enjoy it that God will do it it was just as simple as that she said God will do it and then I remember on the 3rd of August it was on a Monday I had this uh, pregnancy um, test so that day I had to step out of the bedroom went to pick it pee in a bowl and then I dig the stick I, I, I didn't know I, 
I did not understand what happened. I just, all I knew was that I screamed. For the very first time, I saw two lines on the stick. Immediately, I saw what happened. I just canceled all the appointment for that day. And we have to, I said, we need to confirm this. And my Baba would say, when you give a devil a blow, you need to confirm it. Again, with the second blow, we have to go to the hospital to, to the lab to confirm it. And when we got there, it, it was positive. I was so happy. Uh, the joy in me that they cannot, <laughs> it was on another level. On, on, on the 5th of March uh, 2021, the boy came out with a shout at 7.36 a.m. in the morning. Ah, that morning I, 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 was, I was happy. Uh, I want to thank the senior pastor of the Commonwealth of the Land Assembly. Uh, I want to thank you, Baba, for all that you have done for me personally. Uh, the prayers, the love, the support, all through me. I've been under you for almost nine years now, and I have no regret following you as you follow Jesus. Thank you for all the things that you have done. Mommy, I love you so much. Thank you for pushing us to pray always. You have always encouraged us that the only solution is to speak in tongues, to confess the word, and that we have done. Thank you so much. We love, love you all. Thank you. So Thank you. An apostle of reformation with an uncommon debt in covenant realities, given a divine mandate to spread the gospel of grace in excellence and spirituality. He is consistently impacting so many lives in six campuses and many more across several continents. Apt in the spirit, he decodes spiritual truths from the word of God and presents the gospel with exactitude and practical relevance. Your life moves in the direction by default of what you're saying. Faith is the confirmation that you believe it's been done. A steward of faith, staring a divine blueprint that has fast become a reference point globally. He stands out as one of the emerging influences of the next generation of young leaders in Africa. Fondly referred to as the father of the takeover generation. Across board, he has changed so many lives and he's igniting the dynamics of fresh kingdom possibilities. Raising the next generation of change agents around the world and pushing the gospel through new frontiers in emerging technologies through Koza app and Koza TV. He is a loyal father, a devout mentor, an insightful teacher. That is why you were called Jehovah. That is why you are called Jehovah. What is 
said you will do That is what you have done That is why you are called Cherub Now you know him That is why you were called the service we spend time but Lord time is never too short to acknowledge you we, we will never stay in a place too long to forget to acknowledge you and appreciate you thank you so much for 2021 thank you for the past six months thank you for mighty things you've done we acknowledge you we appreciate you Take all the glory. Take all the honor. If there is any nice thing anyone has to say, my Father, take all the glory. We thank you, Lord. This evening, within the brevity of time and the short time that we have, my Father, do what only you could have done. Disgrace the enemy forever. Terrify the enemy. Edify the believers. Glorify Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Let's clap for the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Come on, I'm waiting for you to clap for him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, point at two people. Tell them, the power of God will hit you tonight. You will never forget. 
two people, two people. In Jesus' precious name. Let's just sit there for a while. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. What a mighty God to serve. Tonight is the thank you. God God bless you. Tonight is the grand finale for the seven days of glory. How many of you fasted for the first time? Rise to your feet. Let's see you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now steal your feet. How many of you give your lives to Christ in this conference? Rise to your feet. Don't worry. It's not a shameful thing. Come on. Or you rededicated your life. Come on, rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. Are you thinking about it? You're not sure? Hallelujah. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. This encounter, you will never recover from it. You're watching online. You stood up where you are. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. You will never recover from this. There was a day I gave my life to Jesus Christ. I did not know I would be a pastor. There's something you have that you have no idea about. My prayer for you in this one minute is that you will not miss your destiny. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Let's clap for them as they take their seats. Malachi chapter number 3 and verse 1 was where I kicked off from in the morning. He says, Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come into his temple. The Lord whom, the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come into his temple. Now, God is a God of suddenness. And that's why the Bible says, it will suddenly come. This refers directly, contextually, to the Messiah, which is Christ. But I tell you the truth, it is his character. The way he operates, he, he, he lands suddenly. I can't believe all that because I have a lot to say tonight. But if you look at the message translation of Malachi 3.1, it says suddenly out of the blue. Suddenly out of the blue, he shows up. I pray just the same way the testimony you watched just now the witness since 2015 a simple prayer was said over them and out of the blue suddenly God showed up receive the hand of God of suddenly upon your life in the name of Jesus in Acts 16 and verse 26 Acts 16 and verse 2 you know the story how the Paul and Silas were arranged and arrested in the in the dungeon but the Bible says suddenly there was a there was an earthquake a great earthquake. If you look at the New Living Translation of verse 26, New Living Translation, the Bible says, suddenly there was a massive earthquake because they were not just put in the prison, they were put in the dungeon. I don't know what the enemy has done in your life. He perfected it. He thought, with this that I have done, nobody escapes, nobody's head believed in that family, nobody will ever break out of this. Suddenly, even as this last service is going on in the seven days of glory, the Lord will lay hands on you. In the name of Jesus. You will find the message translation interesting of this verse. It says, the message, it said, without warning. Without warning. It is not something, okay, let's sing one worship or let's do something without warning in the quietness of the service. Somebody does not need to fall down. Nobody needs to shake. No razzle, no dazzle, no razzmatazz. I tell you the truth, nobody under the sound of my voice will leave here remaining the same in the name of Jesus. It says without warning, a huge earthquake and the jailhouse tortured. Every door flung open. Every prisoner were loosed. I prophesy. The God whom you seek will appear suddenly. Everything that had lingered for so long in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I hear the chains breaking suddenly. Amen is not an encouragement to prayer. Amen means that thing will be so in my life. Do you believe it? Let me hear your amen like thunder. Now, you know what thrilled me about this? They arrested them in the morning. Afternoon, God didn't show up. 
Evening, God didn't show up. Night, God did not show up. This happened at midnight. They were about giving up because the next day they will kill them. I don't know who is at the midnight hour right now. I don't know whether you are quarter to shame. You are quarter to disgrace. I don't know what court case you have. I don't know what it is you are about to lose. What you are afraid about. In one minute you are happy. Another minute you are perturbed. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Everything troubling you. Let them be buried before you. If you believe it, let your image show it. The word suddenly means unplanned. It wasn't something you budgeted for. That's why I love the message translation of Acts 16 to It's a without warning. Without warning. You see, I tell you the truth, a lot of people still have problems with this. When little kids have this problem, it doesn't matter. Teenagers, but at your level. You don't even need a Bible. All you need to do is look back. Times the enemy said things were not possible and you just dared to believe God. People stood by you and those things were possible. He that helped you on six occasions, is he going to leave you on the seventh occasion? He is the same yesterday, today and forever. Do you know what? Satan is also the same yesterday, today and forever. If he lost before your life, if I be a man of God, he's going to lose tonight again. If you believe me, let your amen show it. You are above only in the name of Jesus. What does it mean to, to serve a God of suddenly? What, what does it mean when we say suddenly? It means to be taken by surprise. To be taken by surprise. Somebody here, you thought you have your faith raised up. You thought you, you have prayed and you, you have capacity. The Bible says as high as the heavens is above the earth. Have you tried to measure it? Even the earth to the stellar plane. Not talk of the not talk of the, the the second heaven and the third heaven. The Bible says, as high as the heaven is above the earth, so are his thoughts above. His thoughts above you is is his mercy is is
killing that child. For he concluded that God was able to raise him from the dead. So God called the devil and said, well, I know you took authority from the devil, uh, from Adam. And you are brandishing on the face of the earth that you are now in charge of the world. But you know my policy. You know the principle that no man can outdo me. I found a friend who did something. I have to outdo him. Now he has given me the legal ticket to bring my son to the face of the earth. Guys, I'm one of the pastors that believe that that mountain where Abraham sacrificed Isaac, that mountain is actually Calvary. Because if you've been to Jerusalem, you know the mountain surrounds Jerusalem. Psalm 125 and verse 2 says that the mountain surrounds you. He said, I will go to the land of Moriah. It means the outskirts. I will tell you the particular mountain where you will sacrifice him. While I know that there's a place where they build a temple and they say, I can tell you that God, the entire thing were written for our example. There's something called types and shadows. And that ram that showed up there, that sinless ram that took the place of Isaac, was a reminiscence of Jesus Christ. I just said all of that to tell you that there is no way you can outdo God. It's not possible. If you could be faithful on your part, he's more faithful. Sacrifice is powerful. You know, the, the, the God of Baal is like the Shango God in Yoruba land. He's the God of fire and thunder. So if you are challenging them and you are saying, well, the God that answers by fire will be God. You, are, you really need to know your God. And I, Elijah made sure they were calling that God from morning till night. They called him from morning till the time of the evening sacrifice. They started cutting themselves. They started cutting them because they understood sacrifice. That, oh, if, I, if he doesn't answer and I cut by, if he sees blood, he must answer. They started cutting themselves, but Elijah already bound them before he showed up in that place. So they could not answer. You know what Elijah did? Because for three years before that time, water was scarce. Now, he wanted to call down fire. What quenches fire? Water. You know what he did? He went and brought water and poured it in the trench. You know, he created an altar. He put stones there. He poured four water pots till the thing was full and began to overflow. And they were thinking, is it crazy? Is it crazy? You want fire to come and you are pouring water. This is not kerosene. This is not petrol. This is not gas. Water that should have quit. But that was a sacrifice at the time because there was no water anywhere around. As it was pouring that water, people were, you know, Salivating because they, they wish they had that water to drink. And it was the culture in the Orient. One day, uh, David said to his men, oh, I, I want to drink the water of Bethlehem. And, and some of them just broke through the garrison of their enemy to go and get the water. You know when they brought the water, David poured it before the Lord. He said, I can't drink it. Because it's the blood of my associates. He poured it before the Lord. Can you, is it possible that you pour water on the floor before the Lord. So say, God doesn't take offering. He's, he's, he's the church that eats it. He poured it before. Does God drink water on the floor? <laughs> Are you all still here somebody? Whoever tells you sacrifice do not work is a dummy. Both in the spirit and the physical. I say that without apology. I know his level. And very soon he will look for you. Very, it's, it's a matter of time. One of my mentors went for his PhD in London, and one day he saw his contemporary with a masquerade following him in London. He called him, he preached Jesus to him. He said, I saw a masquerade behind him. He said, in London, you are crazy. <laughs> After eight years, eight, how many years? He stood in a room with professors to defend his PhD. After eight years, they asked him a question. What's the title of your thesis? He forgot. So they kept on asking that same question for 15 minutes. Once they said, time up, he remembered. They said, well, it's gone. Gone. They went to look for my mentor and said, that masquerade you saw. <laughs> Please, you saw right. Lives, battles don't understand phonetics. That person, just honor the Lord and switch off your phone or put it on silence. Just honor the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. He had to come back. Whoever tells you sacrifice doesn't work, you know his level. And one of the greatest sacrifices you can give 
they are in two portions thanksgiving a normal offering anything the lord demands from you i don't have time to go into that you know bishop Oedipo, my great great mentor had one of my best friends as his peer at that time the man has gone to be with the lord now he's a little bit older than me but he was my friend he was his peer they were driving inside a gege and suddenly bishop Oedipo said drive a park and he came out and started dancing I mean, he didn't tell, talk to anybody. He started dancing. So he joined him. The police in front joined him. But when they saw the crowd coming, they quickly got back into the car and drove off. And it was quiet till they got to his office. When they got to his office, they said, son, you know why I came out to dance? We were just walking and we were just driving on and I was in deep meditation and the Lord said to me, son, can you, di can you dance for me? I said, why not? Drive a park. And he began to dance. That was a sacrifice at the time. If you are too smart, too bad. Don't be wise in your own understanding. Now, I'm like a confusion to some people. You, you see me, I look modern, and I'm teaching something that doesn't make sense to you. The wisdom of the kingdom was designed that way to make the foolish people, to make the people that claim to be wise never to be able to enter into it. The Bible says it's easier for the camel to enter into the eye of a needle than a rich person not to go to heaven to enter into the kingdom of god to operate the way the king operates in his domain the strategies will not make sense for a rich person it will make it will never make sense you need humility you need believing in god you need a deep understanding of kingdom culture to be able to uh, embrace things like that when somebody is poor his life has already put him down. You say, oh yeah, raise up your raise one leg. You say, oh yeah, let me just do it. But if you are rich, you, you begin to have analysis paralysis. Particularly if you were not trained before you got that money. But I pray for you. This year, 2021, is a year of exponential success. <laughs> Did you just say amen or you believed it? I prophesy you will have the kind of success you have never smelled before. If you believe it, let me hear your amen roar like thunder. In Isaiah 53 verse 21, Isaiah 43, beg your pardon, Isaiah 43 verse 21. I want to read something to you. I will show you what has happened here. The Bible says, these people are formed for myself. They shall declare my praise. God was not made for you. You were made for God. So the reason why God made you is so you can pleasure him. You can give him pleasure. Did you know that all the things we do in the service, they are all for us. They are not for God. Offering is for us. Prayer is for us. Everything except praise. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you've heard it before, but let me reiterate it. That the only thing God cannot do for himself is to be thanking himself or be praising himself. Satan will laugh at him. When he's praising himself. Even Jesus needed somebody to validate him, to lift him up and say, this is the true Lamb of God. And people started following him from that day. When you do for God what he is not able to do for himself, then you are a candidate for God to do for you what naturally shouldn't be your portion. I prophesy. Since the word head is Hebrew or Roshé, as you begin to understand and engage this tool, even tonight, I believe strongly that some people overnight today, they're going to have this testimony. Then they'll be turned around in your life. If you look at the message translation of Isaiah 43, 21, I'm going to read from 21 down to 24. The Bible says the people I made especially for myself, a people custom made to praise me. A people custom made to praise me. Look at the next verse. I'm going to 24. The Bible says you didn't pay a bit of attention to me, Jacob. You so quickly tired of me, Israel? You wouldn't even bring sheep for offering in worship. You couldn't even bother, couldn't be bothered with sacrifices. Not sacrifice, sacrifices. It wasn't that I asked that, 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 that much from you. I didn't expect expensive presents. But you, you didn't even do the minimum. So stingy with me so close-fisted with me you yet you haven't been stingy with your sins 
you've been plenty you've been plenty generous with them and i am fed up you can see how these people were formed to worship him and god expects that apart from your singing and your dancing you must bring another sacrifice called offering and you call it sacrifices There were some things that Apostle Paul didn't talk about in the New Testament because most people that gave their lives to Christ at the beginning picked up the culture of the Jewish culture. Every part of the worship of, of, of the Jewish culture had sacrifice in it. They sacrificed like five times a day. Morning sacrifice, afternoon sacrifice, evening sacrifice, grain sacrifice, peace offering, every, everything. It wasn't something they, they, they needed to talk about. It was their lifestyle. It was their lifestyle. In Psalm 50 and verse 23. Psalm 50 and verse 23. So I'm not going to talk about the sacrifice of offering and other sacrifice. I'm going to zero in on a certain sacrifice now. The Bible says whoever offers praise is not just singing. This is God telling you how he feels. You know, there are some people that want to tell God how, what he should have. What they think he should have. There are people who bring gifts to me. And because I'm very diplomatic and very respectful, I just take them. Like flowers. <laughs> I'm an learning boy. <laughs> like cards. I'm sorry if I disappointed you. Like cards. I will use, after sweeping my room, I'll use it to pack, to pack dust. I don't like those kind of things. Where did you keep shoes? <laughs> yeah? Cards. For where? What is card? Amen? Where did you keep ties? Where do you keep Bibles, books? So you need to find out what I like. If you want to give me a gift that I will keep. I'm not saying that so that you give me a gift. I'm just giving an example how people go to God and they just want to do what they want. Why don't you find out? The reason Esther won the competition of the first beauty pageant was because the eunuch that grew up with the king pulled her aside to say, don't wear green. He doesn't like green. He doesn't like green. One day I flee from here. To, to the States, to Dallas, for Dr. Murdoch's birthday. I had, I had money with me. I wanted to give him a lot of money. I wanted to, I, I, was, I, I was just in love with him. And the guys that picked me at the airport, I was just smart to say, ah, what do you think Dr. Murdoch like? He said, oh, ah, he's been talking about coins. Ah, I said, coins, what kind of coins? <laughs> we had to go to a pawn shop where they sold old coins like silver, you know those kind of nonsense things? I, I said, this is what he wants. He said, no, yeah, he was about 68 years old or 69. He said, if you can buy 69, he's going to like it. I said, what? And I spent like two hours at the airport. They were searching me because I had to declare the money I had. I wanted to give him cash. That was what he wanted. So I had to buy a box. That box was more expensive. The presentation. Do you know that Dr. Murdoch carried that gift to church? Oh, I had the embarrassment of my life. <laughs> he brought the gift to church. He counted the coins. The next day, he called all his staffs. He said, have you seen this before? Touch it. <laughs> he passed it to every. You know Dr. Murdoch? Pa <laughs> passed it to everybody. You know what he did? It made me to teach them how to honor. And I was like, oh my God, I only ask those who live with him what he likes. What does God like? What does he like? He wrote a Bible so that you don't serve him with ambiguity. Say, no, my life, me, this is who I am. Oh, there, sit down there. Next. Jesus told a parable. Two people stood in the same church and were praying. One went justified, one, one left the place more condemned. Just words are seeds for feelings. Your disposition when you approach God matters. Now, I believe you all know we're in the New Testament. We don't enter the gates of God and come out and enter. We dwell in his presence. But borrow yourself brains. In, in Psalm 100 and verse 4, he says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving in your heart. 
Now, in the New Testament, we don't visit and go out, but it's talking about how to approach him with thanksgiving. You know what the Holy Spirit said to me? He said, he said and be thankful to him and bless his name. Now, some of you don't understand this dimension. Now, my father was not a king, but how many chief tenancy titles did he have? Maybe 40. Maybe 40 chief tenancy titles. So in my house, we had all sorts of... If my father dressed, people, when he went to London for events, they thought he was a king because of many of those coronations, all those things. Maybe I'm going to even ask my mom to, to give me those things. <laughs> those things, I'm sure they're expensive. Amen. If you wore them, you would think he was a king. And when we went to our hometown, because he was a politician, we woke up every morning when we were in our hometown with drums and somebody who would chant and chant and chant. Now, I didn't fully understand the language, but this man just came like the man, this guy was beating the drum. He would use the drum to talk to my dad. And my dad will come out in his pajamas with money. I'm talking about 6.30 in the morning. My mom will say, hey, what is wrong with your dad? He will come out in the morning and pieces the guy with money. That guy is using the drum to tell my dad about his great-grandfather. He's telling him that ah, my great-grandfather was so popular that people needed to plant a kola nut tree in front of our house so that they will remember where he stayed. He said he had so much money, and that's what they said to me about him. He had so much money that people stole and stole and stole. They came back to confess, and he did not feel it. <laughs> Are you following what I'm trying to say? He said, my great-grandfather was so handsome that ladies used to pay dowry to him. My father said to scatter. <laughs> Are you following? Then you, are, you, know, you now end by telling my father that ah, that man has resurrected again. The man is here. That he has come back to life. And use the drum to tell him uh, my father's head was scatter. One guy got his. Are you all still here? I have a few minutes. He got, he got his gratuity and relocated to the village. I met this kind of musician. The musician went to do inquiry about his family. He first of all started from his mother's family. And he flew to his father's family. That guy spent the money in his pocket. His wife was there. He said, leave me alone. Leave me. Leave me alone. He went to his house. He said, ha. Nobody has. Eh? Nobody knows my history like this. He brought his gratuity after he spent it. Next day. You don't want me to say it the way he says it in my language. He said he has misspent money. That they use voodoo on him. The guy said, yeah. You two use voodoo back and collect it. So they gave them a nickname in my hometown. So they, when they see their children, they say, the children of so, 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 I don't want to say it. That was how I heard the story. I wasn't there. That dimension, you got it from God. That dimension that someone can psych you up and you don't even know what you can do. The Bible says God cannot even tell what he will do when you pray. He can't fully tell you. He doesn't know. It's a mood that cannot be defined. I'm sorry, I don't mean to, I don't mean disrespect for intercessors and I don't play down intercession. But I've seen broke intercessors, a lot of them. A true worshiper can never be broke. I tell you that. A true worshiper can never be broke. Write this down. You never meet a thanksgiver the last place you left him. Never. Forever. Except he's just singing. You know there are lots of people that sing who don't have a relationship with God. They don't even have a revelation of it. Are you all still here? Am I talking? Are you sure I'm talking? The Bible says in this Psalm 50 verse 23 that I read to you. This is God saying it. Whoever offers me, Psalm 50, 23, whoever offers me praise glorifies me. When I observe the scripture, the first word that jumped at me is whoever. Whether you're short, tall, white, 
first of all, if you look at the whites, look at the content of their So listen to the lyrics. I may not like the song because I just didn't want them to colonize me to that music. But I started listening. I said, oh my God, these guys are so deep. They're so deep. And when you watch their worship, they are lost. They are sincere. Those guys can't be broken, I'm telling you. They don't have your fiery prayer. But their hearts are there. When they're in church, they're in church. Whoever offers me, whoever offers me praise, this person is glorifying me. Do you know the ultimate prayer Jesus prayed on the cross? Glorify me with the glory that I had before the, be the world began. If you begin to praise God now, you are decorating God. You are adding splendor to his royalty. I know that when David says magnify the Lord with me, he wasn't saying that we can magnify God. Who are we to magnify God? God is bigger than our imagination and our, and our concept. But you can magnify him over your circumstance. You can magnify him, his presence, his, his potential, his sovereignty in the circumstance. He says, whoever offers me praise, he says, they glorify me. And he says something to him who orders his conversation or conduct aright. I will show salvation. The word salvation here means deliverance. Have I lost you? Allow me to build. I want to show you some things tonight. There is a way you must order your conduct when you are around God. Particularly, watch this, when you are in the congregation of the saints. What you do to God privately and God thinks is great that you have a private relationship with him. But you, it delivered from the gates of death. That you may declare his goodness at the gates, not privately. At the gates. At the gates. At the gates. At the gates. One of the reasons Moses died was that God said you did not hallow me before the people. The word hallow or holy does not mean purity. Even though when you are holy, you'll be pure. But it does not literally mean purity. Holiness, agiazo, agiazmos, agian, means you are different. You are outstanding. God says you didn't treat me like I'm an outstanding person before the people. When you notice that you're a billionaire, in front of people, be kneeling down. Try it. Deliberately do some things. Because God is watching. God is like, wow. So this guy, this woman is telling everybody that I'm the one that made her like this. Give her more. It doesn't matter what you do privately. Before the people. Now, what you know is that every leader has people following them. And when I say leader, I'm not talking about position. I'm talking about influence. You can't be rich in Nigeria because of the rate of poverty and not be an influencer. It's not possible. Even when you don't want to influence, people will say, oh God, I want to put myself under you. Because of the rate of poverty. So you are able to drop people. What did Abraham know? That made 318 servants be trained in his house and he defeated four kings. Four presidents. Why did God choose Abraham? Because he could pray? Because he could fast? He said he's going to raise everyone around him and point them to him. That was why he chose him. And made him rich. There's some things you must do deliberately. Once you catch those things, I tell you, it doesn't mean you're not going to have trials, but the number of your challenges shall be the number of your victories. You must deliberately, you, are, you, are, you, are, you have followers on Instagram, you, 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 everybody hails you, you are a politician, you have something, deliberately do some things. I know a politician in, in, a politician in this country that sings praises and people laugh at him. And it's becoming richer. I have, listen, I have been uh, privileged to see him when he was in a certain trouble. This guy, except he's lying, he fasted nonstop for like 14 days. I'm telling you the truth. Everybody has weaknesses, but when I saw the way this guy moved towards God, you know, when people have trouble, Sometimes the enemy has a way of penetrating them. He fasted 
And I, I, as far as I'm concerned, the intent did not come to pass. Once in a while, he comes online and sings some, some praises. People are laughing at him. But he's, he's richer every day. He left position, but his money didn't go down. Some people take them away from a position. That is the end of their life. Now, I don't know anything about him, but I'm telling you the truth. It doesn't take long before you be... If, if, if someone like me is broke, you would know in two weeks. Because of the bills, the, the things that needs to be done. There's, there's a level you get to, you can't hide it when you're broke. Are you all still here? Did I, did I step on your toes? You must order your conversation aright. You say, that person, I will show my salvation. In other words, I would deal. The salvation here is not receiving Jesus. It's deliverance. Sozo or soteria. What ev swallows everybody in your family, you will be salvaged. That's what they're talking about. The one that orders his conversation aright. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Every man in this place, you are the pastor of your home. You're the pastor of your home. That's God's original intention. You don't bring your kids to children's church and say, I, we don't know what they're teaching them. What are you teaching them at home? Do you lay hands on them? <laughs> hey, I thank God. It's my wife that prays. It's my wife that prays. That is not the way God designed it. You are the pastor of your home. And you must order your conversation aright. Thank you, Jesus. Praise be to the Lord from whom all blessings flow. Satan, no way in this house. And you're a businessman. Say, no further. Just like Janice and Jambres, we stood Moses and could not go further. This one will not go any further. No child will be sick this year. So shall it be. You walk away. Because you know how to order your conversation aright. You put yourself under God. Once a man doesn't put himself under God, his wife will have a problem, then the kids will have a problem. Once there's no divine order, once there's no order, guess what will happen? Chaos. Chaos is the opposite of order. So the moment you don't put yourself under God, your wife also will not put herself under you, then the kids will begin to go left. So it starts with you, the man listening to me right now. You must be the type that in all the exoterras of who you are, you must learn how to put yourself under God. Can we run? Can somebody shout hallelujah? You can't even tell what God can do. When you begin to sacrifice the sacrifice of praise, Herod had taken his brother's wife. And John the Baptist, in the spirit of Elijah, would not just take that. So he would go and stand where his convoy will pass. And when he's passing with a woman, and will start preaching to, to her, preaching doom, you will go to hell. How? You didn't see women all over. Your brother's wife. What? You are a viper. You are, you are this. You will be cursing and talking. Herod did not care. It was his own. He got home and took his booze. He said, leave the man alone. But Herodias could not stand the shame. So she's been plotting for him. Told the daughter. I said, listen, there's something the king cannot resist. When you dance in front of him, he's going to ask you what you want. Because there's no king that does not like honor. That king did not budget it. He was just so impressed. He said, call my daughter for me. What do you want? They put the microphone in her, in her mouth. It shocked him that this little girl was already too taught to ask for the head of, of John the Baptist. And in those days, king's words were sovereign. He couldn't pull it back. And he said, I want it on a platter. The moment they said that, that was what happened to to, to, to John the Bible. It was out of a dance, out of praise, that she caught the favor of her father. As we begin to dance in this place today, what escaped prophetic words, escaped prayer, escaped fasting, will not escape this praise. That amen is not correct. Can it be louder? Say after me, say nothing will escape my praise. Say, my praise is taking me up. Can you say it one more time? Say, my praise is taking me up. Say, if I lift him up, he will draw me to himself. You realize that when Peter, when Peter was in the prison, 
They had killed James. They had killed some other folks. They were going to kill Peter because the man wanted accolades from men. And they prayed. You, we've read the story once and again in this place how that the, the angel had to strike Peter. His chain had to fall. The soldiers beside him were still sleeping. Bible says prayer was made for him by the church. You know the deliverance, how he got delivered. But in Acts 16, when they praised, when they sang, <laughs> they did not need an angel to enter. I believe what happened was God sat in heaven. The artist is full stool. As God was tapping his feet, dancing to that music, the ground started to shift. Because I tell you, I believe God stood up like Stephen when Jesus stood up for him. Because God stood up. He that sits upon the throne stood up to dance to their, to their hymns and their songs. And they had, had to give way. You know what thrilled me about that narrative? It was not just Paul and Silas's chain that fell. The Bible says there was a great earthquake suddenly. I don't know where you are right now in the midnight hour of your life. Say, Pastor, you know, if God sorts me out, I can praise God properly. No, 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 no. In the situation. Bible does not say for everything. It says in everything. In the situation. Give thanks. The Bible says the chain of everybody fell. Everyone's chain fell. Everyone's chain fell. As we begin to worship the Lord in this place, everyone on TV, everyone on YouTube, even those who will rewatch it, everyone under the sound of my voice, anything that is holding you back from fulfilling destiny, they will fall into one million pieces. I am not enjoying your amen this morning, somebody. I'm not enjoying your amen this evening, somebody. Can I have a threefold amen, somebody? Who should worship God? You see, in every church, I've been, in, I've been a church boy. It is the poor people that dance. Rich, they don't dance. So dance. like me I'm telling you the truth I wish I could dance like some people I watched a brother here this today I said to myself if I can dance like this guy ah I will touch God and God will say Beard, what do you want do you know what people used to do in a kitty in those days Ekiti, I don't know how it is in your village when someone dances like that the king will say go and call that person they'll dash them land the king cannot even tell what he could do. I'm telling you a deep secret. I'm telling you a deep kingdom secret. Does it make sense? It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. If you are understanding it, it's the Holy Spirit that is making you understand it. Does it make sense? Somebody's going to put a goggle here and say, what does it say? He should teach people principles. He should teach people how to manage. He should teach people how to write proposal. He should teach people. When you get this one, I'm saying, they'll be writing proposal to you. So shall it be. Receive what you don't deserve. Who should worship God? And who is the person that should not worship God? Psalm 150 verse 6. Let everything that has breath. They didn't say everyone. So trees have breath. breath. Adam understood what trees said. The Bible says in Mark 11, in response, Jesus said to the tree. How do you respond if someone wasn't talking to you? 
He came in the capacity of the first Adam, so he heard what the tree said. Trees clapped their hands for God. Everything that has breath, everything. Where I am from, traditionally, when they see dogs begin to howl, they say, ah, his spirit is around. I have a prophet, an old prophet, who, they told me the story. A protege of mine, the prophet is his grandfather, his CSC prophet. He was walking, and a dog told him to enter the house. He heard the voice of the dog. Told him to enter the house that a woman has been laboring for days. She got there, put the woman, woman's back on the wall, commanded the baby to come out. And there's the dog that told him that please go and help the woman inside. And he heard. Everything that has breath should praise God. This is the way the Holy Spirit taught me many years ago. Be honest, if you don't want to be breathless, you must be praising God. Psalm 115. Let me show you those who shouldn't praise God. Verse 17. Psalm 115, verse 17. Read it. Ready? Go. The dead do not praise God. Nor any who go down into... When you are not praising God, you are dead. You are going down into silence. You are going down. I can tell you. They are praising God, you are posing. Who are you? I, I didn't come here to harass you. But if something happens to you, I'm the first people who call. Then you know how important I am in your life. And I'm not bragging. Because your spiritual authority is important. Very important. If you are not praising God, you are going down into silence. Those are the only people that don't praise God. Pride comes before a fall. You must order your, your conduct all right. It doesn't happen. You are the one that will order it. I say, Olga. My pastor will say, Olga. He say, yes. You will reply yourself. Let your head be straight. I was at the UCH in 1989. The man beside me. I was telling my son two days ago. I was dancing to him. I said, he was looking at me. I said, I, said, I was dancing, singing. Which song was I singing to? Which one was, which one was? I was dancing to that song, Momore. Dancing, singing in my house coat with no decorum. I told him, I said, son, I have no decorum before God. He was looking at me like, money is I said, listen, I, I told him, I said, I'm money is <laughs> I told him, he's here, ask him. I said, son, I am money is I'm one of the fools that God gave money to. I'm no, listen, and I'm not that rich, but I'm comfortable. I said, I, listen, I'm money is I don't have the corrupts before God. He was just looking at me like, what kind of man is this? David was dancing one day, and Mikhail was like, oh, David, David, I've told you, kings don't behave like that. And David moved close to her and said, sweetie, have you seen a lion before? Have you seen a bear before try to attack you? Have you been kicked out by your brothers before? This girl picked me up. You see this Polish side you are seeing that you are still complaining? My father was asked to line up his sons. He forgot me. And this God remembered me. What, 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 what I, so that I, I know you can't get it, but don't worry. Just leave me. And God struck her. The only woman recorded in the Bible that was barren. No child. Somebody who tampered. Who despised a praiser. It's more powerful than you think. More powerful than you think. I'll show you something that uh, will help you. But you see, the Bible says, whoever has here, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Balaam, you know, I was even tracing the other day, somehow I was connected to Abraham. And that blessing that whoever I cursed was cursed. Whoever I blessed was blessed. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Balak hired him. That's to tell you how accurate this guy was. 
Whoever you curse is cursed. Please come and curse these people. They have dealt with Sion of Bashan. And they've dealt with Sion and Og of Bashan. Those who are more powerful kings than me. They've dealt with them. They are coming to come and deal with me. They have, as they are walking through cities, they are devouring those cities. Please, curse them for me. Promise him lands and chief tens titles. That guy went to his oracle, did everything. Ah. After this guy promised him more, he said, sir, let me tell you why. I looked into their midst. There are two reasons I can't curse them. Iniquity is not amongst them. And the shout of the king is in their midst. I will show you. I need to run. <laughs> Isaiah 16, 18. Isaiah 60, 18. Isaiah 60. I wanted to show you on Sunday, but let me just quickly show you. Violence shall no longer be heard in your land. Neither wasting. You know what they got wasting? There are wasters. Who waste firstborns? Who waste first daughters? They just go zany. They just, they just lose it. A good girl starts to sleep around. She can't even control it. Waste us. Violence shall no longer be heard in your land. Neither wasting nor destruction within your borders. Watch this. But you shall call your wall salvation. What, what secures your gate? Praise. What secures your gate? I was not like this before. Don't think we're dummy or we like music. No. It's a weapon. And I'm not bragging. This thing I'm sharing with you, I know a little bit about it. I know about it though. The first time I sang as a pastor in the city I was pastoring, they called me and said, Ah, Pastor, you want to water down your anointing? I went to him and said, Lord, God said, Beardon. Some are prayer, some are this, some are this. Yours shall be worship. I have a revelation of what I'm saying now. You can never keep a thanksgiver on a spot. God inhabits. The praise in the atmosphere is steps on it. The praise in your house. Praise God. The gates shall be praised. Salvation is a wall. That's why whoever breaks the edge is happened to strike. But the gate that secures it is praised. Secures your breakthrough. You just had a breakthrough. You're afraid it will go down. What secures it is you just got married. Hey, in laws, by laws, outlaws. Praise. Praise. It's not something we do now that I've taught you. Everybody will dance. Next Sunday, you go back to your cocoon. No. A lifestyle. We're not talking about Thanksgiving. We're talking about Thanksgiving. I need to run. A lot of people hold God. As I speak with you, they hold me. It's really the last suit I wear. Me? Let me say something. There's nobody in this room that should praise God more than me. God has been so good. Not in terms of me having more than you, but I'm telling you the truth. When God do not hand you over to the intent of your adversaries, you need to be very, you must do extra. Just in case you don't know, I am now a subject they study in Bible school. They've never seen anyone like me. They've never seen any child like Rosa. Not in Nigeria on earth. Is now a subject to be studied. How can how can your praise be more than mine? How? I don't only dance. Oh. Serious finance. I drop it secretly. Make it happen. I was worshiping this afternoon. 
and the Lord put it in my spirit to invite first string. It was told 2.30 today. He did not know. 2.30, bam, bam, bam. Somebody bought the ticket. Bam, bam, bam. Put them inside to be here. Whatever reason God said it should be here, I don't know and I don't want to know. I sat down there, I told Pastor Kika, I said, man, this guy is good. He didn't know. He had to be, I mean, he had to change the names of those who would come with him. Because 2.30, bam, 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 bam. He had to run to the airport to be here. Let's celebrate Jesus in his life. Whatever he wants, please just do it for him. Just do it for him. Over your child, over your life, over your marriage, just do it for him. Just do it. Now, I want to show you scripture. Am I communicating? You know I'm your pastor. I'm here with you. I'm here with you. I'm here with you. Psalm 30 verse 11. Because of time, let's just look at the New Living Translation, my wife's favorite translation. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy. Next verse. Next verse. So that. You graduated, he brought you to the city. All the things distracting you, the things you now have that you can't bring, he did those things so that. Pastor Rita, but I was an unbeliever, I had them as unbelievers. He did them so that. You know the reason why nobody can talk to you about God? You're beautiful. Do you made yourself beautiful? It's God. You made yourself tall? It's God. You made yourself rich? It's God. But that's the very thing now separating you from God. So that I... When your father passed, you were a teenager. And you thought, what will life do to me? Relations that promised failed. You went.
And God said, ah, okay. You can't be more faithful than me. Isaiah, turn back. Add 15 years to his year. So let's pick it up from there. After God added to his year, his years, and restored him. After God told that medical report. After God made sure you were married. After God made sure you got an international job. After God made sure he increased your relevance. In those days, Hezekiah was sick and near to death, according to the favor shown him. He did not repay God according to the favor shown him. He didn't respond back to God. He felt, uh, you know, you know, I'm not trying to be proud, you know, I'm sharp. You know, I have this thing on me. Anywhere I get to, doors open. Hezekiah did not repay according to the favor shown him. His heart was lifted. Therefore, no ambiguity. This is the reason. Wrath was looming over him. And everything that has name on it began to go to Satan. Could it just be that you're not giving glory to God? That the God that sees the heart is saying, no, what you're giving to me is not commensurate to how I've helped you in life. I need to stop here because I still have Sunday. And I have by the grace of God, a lot. The Bible says, my people err because they don't know scriptures. Because if you knew better, if you knew the consequences of the small thing you think you're doing, Satan arranged it for you because he knew. You know, when I went to my hometown for the first time, I could count how many times I've been there, actually. I was glad to have met my cousins. These guys grew up in the village. They were smart. They could catch any animal. They put their hand in a hole. They could tell whether it was a snake or a rabbit or anything. They could tell. I've taught you about it when I taught you on Lambano. This guy saw scorpions and wanted to kill scorpions. When I saw a scorpion, I fled. They said, no, don't flee. They took a broom, a broomstick. Pinched its back. The scorpion wanted to attack what pinched its back and stunk itself. And in two minutes, it died. It died by his own power. It died by his own strength. So Satan pinches you with pride. Your shoulder sure raises up like this. Are you self destruct That is what he's doing. And all of us are susceptible to this thing, including the preacher. That's why we must watch ourselves. If you lie to everybody, don't lie to yourself. You know, say, Oga, oh my head on the day too big. And if your head is too big, what happens? Your crown will fall down. Because it won't size you anymore. So out of all the things I know to share, I thought to myself, as we are entering into the next half of the year, Biodu, what will you tell these people you love so much? I thought, let's settle this thing. So that as we cross, it will be on another level. I pray that every prophetic word declared over us will come to pass. Every sacrifice you have offered in these seven days, the Lord will reward them. Please, don't get me wrong. It's not only rich people that are proud. Though. It was when I go to Abuja that I know your gate man can be cocky to you. He's a spirit. He not get anything. Ah, you don't want to know what I did to this guy. You don't want to know. Because there are four, there were four terraces, so I wasn't the only person I employed him. So if I hunt for a long time, he'll just come out, look at me. <laughs> I said, does this guy know where I'm coming from? And he opened the thing, just, just walk away, and then he may not answer you. Ah! Don't let me go there. But once I dealt with him, I'm sure when he sees me on the billboard now, he will say, ah, oh, this man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. What other way to give glory to God other than giving your life to Jesus Christ? Listen to me. I saw a lot of people come out to dance, and I really appreciate you for dancing before the Lord like that. But I just hope that the devil will not take you 
and laugh at you for dancing with us. There is something you have that you have no idea about. For the devil to be paying attention to you and be negotiating with your life is basically because there's something about you that he is terrified about. I have never seen anyone, they call a black sheep in a family, that does not have a strong destiny. I've never seen one. There's a boy when we were growing up that used to rob. He used to rob. He used to steal. And one day when I gave my life to Christ, I went to look for him. And I prayed to him. And when I was talking to him, I said to him, I said, there's greatness in you. He said, they have seen it in my family because in that zone, once they give back to a child, they'll go and check the future of the child. That was why they attacked him. Maybe nobody told you this story. Maybe they didn't check physically. Maybe the enemy just smells you from afar. The Bible says they saw Joseph from afar and they said, let's kill him and we'll see what will become of his dream. Every attack upon your life is because of your mandate on the face of the earth. When you join tag, you tag with Jesus, even the devil knows that he can't lay hands on you anymore. Particularly when you have understanding. You are here tonight. We don't have time to waste. It is not a shameful thing to receive Jesus. We don't bow our heads in this church when we want to invite you to receive Jesus. Big boys love Jesus. Beautiful ladies love Jesus. Don't wait for anybody. You want to give your life to Christ? You want to rededicate your life to Jesus? Come, come, come. Just run out here. Don't wait for anybody. Jesus is calling for you. Jesus is calling you now. Don't wait for anybody. You are the foyer. You are the outside. You are inside. Come, come. That brother is coming. Any other person coming? Don't wait for anybody. Come. Come. I'm waiting for you. Don't let the enemy steal your destiny. Come. Come. Don't be begged. Come willingly. Do it publicly. Do it publicly. At the foyer, at the nursing mother, I'm waiting for you. Pack whatever you brought to church and come forward here. And I surrender. truth I lie not in the spirit I stood here when you guys came to dance out here there's a particular guy when you came out the Lord said to me make sure he gives his life even if you don't do any other thing make sure he gives his life to Christ today because I want to snatch him from something that is a lifetime regret I would really love it if you can come I can describe you but I don't want to describe you you one of the one of those dancing here not the guy in white that dances you look like a first timer please come please come the lord has sent me to you and the entire church is inviting you now calling you and clapping for you and celebrating you please come do me a favor 
Tap your friend, say to your friend, can I come out with you? Answer them, answer them. Don't tell me it's not working. At the foyer, everywhere. Come, come, come. I'll be very happy if that brother can come. Come, come. Or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus? Come, 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 come. Don't tell me it's not working. Come, come, come. child of God and you're not passionate about what I'm doing now I doubt if you're saved I doubt it because if you've experienced him you don't want anyone to be in hell why we're not threatening people we're not judging people I'm really waiting for that brother when 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 you if you can ever have a glimpse into the discussion in hell. Thank you. Keep coming. If you can have a glimpse into the discussion in hell, the greatest discussion in hell is evangelism. You see, there's a story of a rich man. Are you bored? I'll pray for you in one minute. There's a story of a rich man. I'm just trying to encourage this brother to come out. Hallelujah. There's a story of a rich man. This guy was so rich, and there was a guy called Lazarus who used to beg at his gate. So Lazarus died. Angels picked him up and went to the paradise. And this man, demons picked him up and took him to uh, Hades. So when he was there, he had just barely been there for 30 minutes. He started shouting, hey! My throat, I'm thirsty. Abraham, please tell Lazarus to dip his hand, just a, just a drop of water, just a drop. And Abraham said, It's a place where you just hear wailings and crying every single day. And I don't want you to go there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every one of us, let's say this prayer together. Say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus. I heard your word. And I believe your word. I confess Jesus as my Lord and as my Savior. I believe Jesus died for me. I believe Jesus was buried. I believe that on the third day, Jesus was raised from the dead. Everything he did by his death, burial, resurrection, and ascension, I receive now into my human spirit. I receive the gift of eternal life. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Father, thank you for these lovely ones. I pray for this fruit, that these ones will never go back. Through them, billions will know Jesus. 
Father, there are people standing here thinking, how will I survive? How will I make it? They're thinking about several things, my Father. I pray in the name of Jesus, sort everyone out. Yeah. Let it be a, a memorial that on the 7th of July, 2021, someone's life turned around. Yeah. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Now, I believe you're born again, and you're not going to lie, okay? I'll let you go back so you can participate with us. But immediately after, we're going to call you to come back to the stage so we can put some materials in your hand. So when we call you, if you just give your life to Christ, just make your way forward, and your life won't remain the same. Is that okay? Let's celebrate them as they go back to their seats. <laughs> celebrate them, celebrate them, celebrate them, celebrate them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, we're going to practice what you have learned. How many of you have been blessed? Are you sure you've been blessed? But before we do that, we're going to take offering. During the offering, we're going to dance. Then there will not be a party after. Party. So we need to take the offering and close, but there will be party after party. If you came with the boss, don't worry, they're going to wait for you. That's what we do every year. 7th of July, 13th of January, there's party after party. You want to pay your tithe? You want to sow a seed? You want to be grateful to God? There's something the Lord touched your heart about and you are led to come and sow a seed or pray at the altar. Come forward here. Come forward. Immediately, immediately you hit the front, just go ahead and give thanks to Jesus. Give thanks to Jesus. Appreciate Him. Exalt the beauty of His holiness. Bless Him. Thank him. Thank him. I'm acknowledging you for who you are, for what you've done. Where's your dance? In my life, I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Dance I Are you sure I preach to you tonight? I'm acknowledging you. returned to, to give you all the glory and honor in Jesus precious name precious father thank you I've shared the word with the, your people I'm not under pressure you're the God of suddenly and I've shared with them how that sacrifice releases that dimension of you and I've also shared with them that apart from offerings that thanksgiving and gratitude makes you appear suddenly. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, there are people here, as faces are different, needs are different. If you don't show up in their circumstance, they may be disgraced, they may be ashamed, and you have said, we will not be ashamed. Therefore, Lord, step in. Amen. Step in. Amen. Now, I command anything that demands emergency to be attended to now. I release angels of fire on your behalf. Before you get home in the name of Jesus, you have unusual testimonies. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Your pastor told you that God says seven days. You've been doing this for over 20 years. And you joined by faith. May heaven respect your faith. If there be anything that escaped one way or the other, all the anointed men that have been here for seven days, men and women that have been here for seven days, I pray in the name of Jesus, may your thanksgiving break the backbone. Receive the next level. Jesus took the bread and the fish that were not enough and gave thanks. And what was not enough never finished. I pray that you move from not enough and move from just enough to over overflowing abundance. Enter into a new city. So shall it be. Now, church, this is your moment. You're going to lift up your hands and give thanks for something that you believe is yours now. Give thanks for what you believe is yours. Maybe you prayed about it during the seven days of glory. Or it just came to your mind now. Or something is troubling your mind. Lift up your hands. If, it's, if your hands are tired, bring them down. But lift it up as, as much as you can. And thank God. Mention that thing. Say, Father, I thank you for my wife. Thank you for my husband. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my career. Oh, thank you for that medical report. It's torn in pieces. Please just do it. And see how your life will shift. Are you praying at all? Are you sure you're talking to a living God? In Jesus' precious name we pray. I speak to everyone in all the campuses. I lay my hands on the pastors. And everyone whose amen is loud. Everyone in this room, everyone that will watch the broadcast again, I prophesy. Receive miracles that will don't frown your friends. Let the Lord appear suddenly in your life. In the name of Jesus. You that person that they used to torment in your sleep. Every inroad the enemy had into that house, into your life, is now sealed in the blood. The Bible says in Psalm 149 that by your praise you execute vengeance and you execute the written judgment. Everything Jesus Christ has done by his death, burial, resurrection, and ascension, let your praise execute it in your life. Anywhere you've had oppression in your health. In your finance, anything that is mocking your prayer, let your thanksgiving break the backbone right now. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that anyone waiting to see your disgrace, they will wait forever. The snare is broken and you have escaped. As we begin to praise God tonight, He says, Let the people praise Him, let all the people praise Him. There's a dimension when all the people praise them. So then the earth will yield that increase. Nigeria will yield for you. Amen. Whatever country you're standing in, in the name of Jesus, that ground will yield new testimonies for you. Amen. God will honor you. Amen. When you freely release it, you will freely receive. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As you're dancing, any instruction God gives to you, write it down. Any idea that comes to mind, write it down. That's how God starts with you. By all means, by Sunday, we will not have time to take testimonies. Please let your amen be louder. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. After the offering, I'll come back and coordinate the party after party. So what we want to do is I'm going to just pray on you and then release you and then we'll start the party hallelujah the lord is your strength in jesus name are you ready
Oh, wow. 
lift your hands everybody lift your hands everybody let your heart connect on another level let your heart connect on another level now let your heart connect on another level Everybody lift it up, what have you done, done for me? Say all you went through just for me. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What have you not done for me? What have you not done for me? Oh. What have you not done for me? Oh.
don't even have another request tonight. We just stopped to love on you. And even if we did this from now till tomorrow, you can't stand there how good you've been to us. Father, we're not ungrateful. We're transparent before you, you can see us. Lord, receive even this little that we have to give to you. We bless you, Lord. Father, I rise to my feet to speak as your oracle. I prophesy that everything that represents stagnation in your life ends tonight. Everything troubling you that makes you run four steps forward and they take you nine steps backward, we break them in pieces tonight. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy that every financial stagnation is over tonight. Everything that was your mother's prayer point, your father's prayer point, will not be your thanksgiving point. In the name of Jesus. Yesterday, Bishop said, if you have money and you don't have good health, what is that? I prophesy receive wholeness Would there be any case that was not mentioned or maybe somebody was not there and you are on the great day of the last feast the last day of the of the great feast i prophesy let great grace be upon you now now i just saw a mighty hand taking this building up I just saw a mighty hand taking this building up. Therefore, begin to go above. And stay above only. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, receive that prophecy. Wherever you are, receive that prophecy. In the name of Jesus. As the Lord lives, no matter how successful you are, move forward now any barrier before you i command angels now to take them out of your way this year they will not tell you story we will not bury anyone under the sound of my voice you will escape tragedy the number of your challenges shall be the number of your victories move from victory to victory there's somebody under the sound of my voice every time things are getting better you are free because you know that a calamity is coming that is the way that's been happening the seventh of july anything that looks like that in anyone's life here let it catch fire now Jesus. Every secret tears is wiped out. Every secret tears is wiped out. There's somebody under the sound of my voice. They will want to rub you in at work. They plotted it and want to rub you in. And they have some facts. But thus hear the Lord. It will victimize you. It will vindicate you Amen. with a promotion testimony. Amen. Receive it where you are. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody here, your loved one, will come out supernaturally, suddenly out of prison. Amen. His term has not finished, but the Spirit of Grace just told me now that it's going to take him out supernaturally. Amen. Let those words come to pass speedily now. I release angels assigned to me to go and bring those words to pass. In the name of Jesus. Everyone stretch out your hands like you want to receive something. The power that raised Jesus from the dead is in this room. 
The power that killed the firstborn of the Egyptians is in this room. The power that divided the Red Sea is in this room. Now I now pray and decree and declare. These hands will count millions. These hands will take money out of money. These hands will do good this year. Everything you touch is blessed. Everything you touch is blessed. The Bible says covenant. They bow before you now. So shall they be. In the name of Jesus. Place that hands on your chest. Father, I ask for the vibration of heaven. Whatever the hill saw when God was walking and it shifted, let every sickness in this body shift now. Any mark of bad luck shift now. Any seal of infirmity shift now. Where's There's somebody here you've had a loss of memory. Just as that hand is on your body at the point of contact, let your brain be incubated by the Holy Spirit. As you sleep tonight, you wake up with a sound memory. Everything that concerns you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet is perfected in the name of Jesus. Receive unusual favor. Let your look favor you. Let your name favor you. Ordinary. They are anointed prophetic nights. So shall it be. Now in one minute, now go ahead and ask the Lord for anything before I declare over you. Get serious right now. Amen is in this room. The amen of the, of the Trinity is in this room. I don't believe there's anything you will ask for that is scriptural that will not be answered tonight. Release your faith. You are not the sound of my voice. The amen of the Trinity is with you there. Say it with boldness. Thank you, Father. We give you the praise. You are coming back with testimonies. Amen. Let impossibilities become possible. Amen. No matter how difficult, let them bow before you. Amen. No matter how far fed, let them be delivered to you. Amen. Come back with testimonies. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. your head will not reject prayer. Amen. Your head will not reject prayer. Amen. Your head will not reject prayer. Amen. Whatever you will do after now that we have bought this prophetic moment, you will not do it. Amen. We seal your miracles in the blood. Amen. Let the miracles begin. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Can I hear seven for the amen? Amen. Amen. Precious name. Amen. So as you leave this place, the Lord goes with you. Amen. It's your shama. Amen. It perfects all that concerns you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please let's uh, welcome Ash Africa for party after party. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you're not going home, you can stay and just dance for a while before you go. Hallelujah. Can we make it very, very, very fast? Hallelujah. Shake people around you, tell them congratulations. I want to praise my God. Give me praise, oh, I, I want, want to praise my God. 
You are all the father. You are all the father. Hey. How many? 